Hello everybody, this is Bitcoin Micro and I've got a very cool series of videos for you guys. This is going to be a mini series with gems. Potentially I'm going to keep doing more and more videos on gems so that you guys can have something more interesting, something that not many people talk about. So I'm going to be digging deeper on certain coins and I'm going to start with Trade Ogre. So many of you guys might have heard about Trade Ogre. It's a mini exchange. It's a, one of the not oldest exchanges but it's been around since 2018 actually it's not even that old but it's just very special because it's that weird ux that it has it has those weird proof of war coins that most of them are potentially forks of monero so it has a really weird combination of coins mostly focused around privacy no kyc no crypto it's just uh, most pairs against Bitcoin, there is probably no USDT on there, not even that many coins, but it's one of those exchanges that there have been all those weird cycles where these coins have shown perfect cyclicality versus Bitcoin. Now, most of them are proof of work heavy, maybe like most of them are pretty much scams, like they're pretty much useless, but there are some decent projects on there like Haven, potentially Darrow and, you know, potentially even parachain for which I don't even know much so I'm not gonna lie like for these coins I mostly care about you know the price action and their potential to um, pump and not for them to like let's say do something massive in terms of you know a crazy project that it's very very useful and it's going to be revolutionary now haven is potentially one of them it's going to be one of the first ones i talk about but before that i want to talk a bit about the coins that have pumped massively and just go through them a bit for example parachain has had such a massive pump that it has reached 1.5 billion dollars worth that of like USD, it's like that's its valuation. Monero has also pumped massively. It's a it's a fork of um, Monero. Well, actually, Monero V and like other Monero forks, they were actually hard forks because what happened was at some point Monero forked off ASIC. So essentially, this is the original chain, and this is not the original chain because this is without the ASIC. So these ASICs were developed on previous algorithms. And then the devs kicked those out by making it more easy for GPUs and CPUs to mine rather than ASICs. So yeah, they made very hard for ASICs to mine, so they, they are kicking them off constantly. And that was one of the projects that was left around since back then. Now, for example, look at this massive pump by Monero V. This is a way that I can show you how big this is, probably 100x from here or even more from that capitulation point. But to be honest, that's not even it because this fork actually happened much earlier, but it just coin market cap hadn't added it up until now or up until like, let's say May of 2019, maybe potentially on one of those pumps or actually it was listed on it beforehand but it had never because at some point it didn't have enough volume it got delisted from coin market cap and now they have it back on again so right now it's about here so it's about 800 satoshis or something like it and at some point it was let's say at 8,000 satoshis so it's still um 90 below its all-time highs and it's up 100x or even more so just think about this guys like just think about the stuff that's happening in this market so it's very crazy and like just look at this ux it's just insane uh you can't you cannot even chart anything so you just buy or sell <laughs> given like what you believe so i'm just gonna go for pirate chain afterwards again guys these are not the ones that i'm showing you like i would say go buy them uh, but I'm just going through some of the stuff that have been going on uh, with uh, Trade Dogra. Very nice as well. Pyrochain, massive pump. I was looking at this chart for quite some time, but I just never got like I had coins on Trade Dogra at some point. But then with all the DeFi stuff, I just thought, you know, what's the point? And then I thought, like, you know, why would I keep any money there to just buy Pyrochain? It's not going to do that well. At least that was my my thinking then because i was like how how high will it go because not that many people are going to put money on it 
but now that the market is growing just look at this just look at how nice this base has been perfect base and it's up 63 64x or actually even more very very nice just look at this like it's it technically it's just perfect like the chart is perfect and also look at the throwback on the previous all-time high and then continuation and this thing could actually even continue i don't know if the valuation that you you see right here is actually the right one i don't know it's like because it says 1.5 billion which seems a little bit insane but it might be the case so i don't know much about barachain so if you know anything about it just drop a comment down below guys just let me know what you think about it just let me know if it's the real deal or if it's just another scam so that's it for monero v like potentially you might have seen turtle coin which is also on kucoin and that's why i said and on mxc as well so turtle coin is not just a simple one guys and that's why i do believe that those that are on trade ogre and some other exchanges might do pretty well now turtle coin i don't know much about it either but we can chart it for a second You see, it's like if I put the log chart, it doesn't even show anything. Oh, on, on Coin Paprika, it's not showing a good chart. It's usually Coin Market Cap that has the best ones. So yeah, Turtle Coin is going down. I don't know if it's gonna go higher, but look at this. Look at this chart, and then down, and then up again. And then let's put Wall Narrow to just show you guys like some of the stuff that's happening. That now I'm not saying go buy any random stuff that's on there especially not without risk management but Warner like I think it was doing these cycles even before that I think it's a similar situation with Monero V because I do remember that it has more price action behind it so if we just look at how much this thing has gone up it's about 43x and that's just in April so you see like as we progress in the alt season the more money comes in the more people dig deeper and deeper that's how money ends into other exchanges and that's why i'm going to talk about some of the pumps in other videos that i've seen on bitrex on korean exchange so you know every time there is a bit of an exchange that does very well recently it was kucoin that had done very very well and potentially could do even better maybe we see a resurrection on the huobi coins or another exchange so if you have an exchange in mind guys just let me know i would love to hear about it so again, 44x in April alone. That's <laughs> that's quite insane. Yeah. So if we just look at let's say the max chart in here, let's see what it shows. Yeah, it went even before this. So you see how like it has this cycle from 2018. So it does this, collapses completely, makes a little new high. Like that's a pretty massive pump as well, and then collapses again, and then does an even more massive pump. So these proof of war coins, like the, these forks of Monero, are like some pretty weird things, but they are perfectly cyclical, and it's just my mistake for forgetting about them. I just thought, you know, there were so many other coins to focus on that you just keep losing track. But it's, it's just always good to just potentially throw some money into those coins. And Monero and Parachain were two of those that I was looking at, but I forgot. So. That's just my advice. If you have something that you really like, just put a tiny amount in. Just maybe like 0.05% of your assets. You should know, just, just risky bets that you consider just that money lost. And then you set like really high targets on like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50x, you, you name it. And you just set it and forget it. So if that money becomes something, that's good. And maybe you can put, let's say, 5% of your money in something that large so again that's not financial advice just just an opinion of what you could do but just remember you should be putting very little in those coins because they are very very risky so no matter how good the cycle looks like like for example next time i don't really believe it's going to do the same thing because i do believe that this is probably going to be the exit pump so just think about this like forks of monero doing better than monero so let's get into some of the coins that i quite like on trade dogre and there have been some of the major projects since day one like some of the oldest ones so it's haven 
And if we look at the market cap of Haven in Bitcoin terms, look at this, like in price, it doesn't look like it's going higher, but in Bitcoin terms, it has been going higher. And its market cap currently is about 300 million. And it's not listed on many exchanges, but I do believe this is going to change. And I do believe that the listing on KuCoin and BKEX have been pretty significant, especially the one on KuCoin as KuCoin has grown quite a bit recently. The more the market grows, the more these little exchanges have been gaining some market share that they had been losing prior. Okay, so 300,000, excuse me, 300 million dollars in market cap. And Haven is a special one because, guys, for Haven, you can convert Haven, you can burn it, and you can create a stable coin, XUSD, which is a private stable coin. It's one of the only private stable coins in the market now. It's not very liquid, but it has been added on ThorChain, as far as I know, or at least it might get on ThorChain. So people might be able to do swaps between this token and this private stablecoin and Bitcoin and any other chain potentially in the future, which is massive. Like because all the other stablecoins so far have not been private, but this is the first one that has been able to peg the price. Now, I do believe that these stablecoins are not very stable and they can be many issues but for now for the bull market because things are going well uh the price of the peg is probably not going to break now in a bear market you should be careful with any algorithmic stable coin no matter how good it is that includes maker that includes literally everything okay in a bull market these stable coins might work but eventually they do break up until then though it's a pretty good one now another quite nice token that I like is Dero. It's not a token, it's an altcoin because it has this nice also sideways movement that I really, really like. I really, really like it. And it has been on KuCoin for quite some time and on some other smaller exchanges that are not as relevant as well as, you know, those little other little ones that had not been shown earlier. But it is on KuCoin. Now, its market cap is much smaller than that of Haven for now. It's about six times smaller. It was one of the projects that was getting hyped a lot in the past. But, you know, after the really uh, meteoric rise of DeFi and all that stuff, you know, these projects have taken a backseat and I don't know how much it can grow. Now, I don't know if this is going to pull back because it's already pumped significantly. It's already up 50% in a day. Uh, potentially this could be the first resistance level right here pretty nice level for the first target potentially afterwards let's say it comes back down to this level retests those highs and moves higher because I do believe that this one and Haven could do very very well let's put Haven as well So again, if you look at the coin gecko chart, it shows more history than these actually show you. Uh, but Haven had a massive capitulation as well. Really nice accumulation at the bottom right here. Boom. Nice. And it hasn't been delisted surprisingly by Bittrex, potentially because it's not the, the, the token, the, the Haven token might not be uh, the real private thing, whereas it might be the stable coin. So that's what they might be assuming. And that's why they didn't delist it. Now, Haven could also come down to this area, but I do believe that it could e easily break this high. So I had an idea on trading view again on Haven that I was talking about like coming all the way up here. Potentially it could grow even more, but it might take its time. Now, if the, tr the privacy trend continues and people take profits from Pirate Chain into some other tokens, then this could blow up even more. So just remember that, guys, the more people get into those coins on Trade Ogre, the more these ones are going to follow because some of that money is going to take profit and get into those coins as well. So it's just that typical rotation that we have. And finally, we have Oxen, which was called Loki in the past. So it was also another one that was talked quite a bit about, like a lot of people were talking about it. And it also has a pretty nice chart. Like this chart looks just like massive sideways movement versus between just like massive accumulation, just pure cycles. But then 
like you saw with Parachain and like you saw with Warnero, this result in a massive breakout and usually the returns are like multiples and multiples like maybe 10x and 20x. Now I don't believe that happen from here is going to do a 20x because it's already made a 20x or more. It's already been like from the August 2019 low, it's already up about 56x, 57x. So it's already up significantly and that's why I don't really believe it's going to have a 20x from here, but against Bitcoin of course, but it could easily do a 5x and Dero could maybe do a 10x and the same goes for Oxen, which probably, I don't know if it has the full chart as well because it was renamed. Okay, it does have the full chart on here. So look at this, it had a down drop, then pump. It came all the way up to the place that got broken down, fell lower, had the weird pump. That was a massive pump on KuCoin, then sideways. Then that mini pump right here, it came all the way back to this previous level, right here, right there, and then all the way back down to where that pump began. Full retrace, full cycle in so many different ways and now slowly going higher. Now, I don't know if it's gonna go and moon straight away from here. Again, it has already gone up 20% in a day, but I do believe that these are some of the projects that you guys should be paying attention to. Maybe hold small amounts as moon bags because you just never know how high these ones are going to go. Now, these ones are kind of large, so they are not like very small projects because again, if it's like a hundred million, then a 10x means it gets to 1 billion. But again, if Parachain has done it, then why couldn't those do it, which are also listed on other exchanges like KuCoin and Bittrex, because these are way more liquid than any of the other stuff. And again, this is a Uniswap. You can also trade this one on Uniswap as well. So they have a lot more liquidity than some others. So Haven, Oxen and Dero are some of the more quality projects, quote unquote, on trade dog right now the smaller ones might do a lot better but i do like these ones so again guys this is no financial advice if you have any comments just let me know anything you want to say negative positive and i would just like to know which coins you might like from trade dog or some other gems that you would want me to talk about because i've got that mini series i've got some projects in mind that i like right now clearly th that could change in the future but for now, I do have those quality projects that I like and I would like to share them with you. Now, again, when I say quality, I do mean that I do like the charts a lot. Potentially, I like the listings they have because for me, liquidity is very, very important. I want to know what exchange has listed what and because that's, that matters to me a lot because all I want to know is who am I going to sell to, even if the price goes up or down. Like, can I exit? Is there enough liquidity? Are the people that will be willing to buy this token, is this available to many people? The more people this is available to, the more likely it is that the price is going to go higher because of the demand. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe. Now, if you want to visit some of the, of the exchanges that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, like Gay.io, Bitmax, and etc. You can just check the ref links down below. I'm gonna share some more ref links with you guys, one for KuCoin, one for FTX and one for Binance, so that you guys can get some discount on your trading as well, because I'm sharing some of the revenue with you guys. So you just get better fees and I just get like a tiny percentage. Now, this is not gonna be a lot of money anyways, because you know this might be just a little tip, like when you trade, because the most money that I would be making would be if I shield you um, leverage trading, but I do believe that there is more money to be made trading uh, gems and it's a lot safer because you just know that there is a stop loss. That, that coin can go to zero and that's it. There is no liquidations, that money can stay there, that money can go up 100x, whereas when you just play with leverage, you can get burned very badly and at some point, you know, you might have all sorts of issues with funding and all that stuff. So I do prefer to, to get less money from shilling, shilling stuff that I do believe 
are worth it okay like you see the returns you can get from trade dogger now i don't have a, a trade dogger reflink or anything like that but i do believe that if you want to go there and check it out it's just one fun way to just look at how weird these coins have been behaving and just have a look by yourself so ju that's just why i mentioned some of the quality stuff so once again guys please like subscribe leave a comment come by my trading view account my trading view page my twitter feed as well just follow me and just contact me if you want anything so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next one